modern vehicles, uh, the steering system has to face more challenges and tasks than in, in the past. Uh, it has to interact with different systems of support of the driving and even autonomous driving, and it has to be uh, designed uh, to cope with the requirement of electric uh, transmission, when a transmission and the powertrain are connected to the front uh, wheels. Putting together a steering rig with a driving simulator, we create an environment where a human being in the place of the driver can interact uh, with the steering system on one side, like he was driving a real car, and with uh, an environment that is reproduced by the simulator around the car, including traffic conditions uh, and all the different uh, situations for simple to complex that are relevant to study the behavior of the steering system and its interaction with the car and with the driver. Our test rig is uh, equipped with uh, two motors that are reproduce the uh, steering forces directly on the steering links. This means that uh, uh, comparing with the traditional simulators, you don't have any more any motor after the steering wheel. You have the complete steering axis, the complete uh, steering EPS. So you can test uh, all the steering uh, column as it is in the real vehicle with the forces that uh, it uh, will uh, feel in a real car. Steering systems can be analyzed on a simulator with a hardware in the loop rig, exploiting the fact that we have a, a human in the loop. In this way, we can study different technologies in the early stage of the development. We can use this environment to study the debugging and development of the system itself. And in the final stage of the development of the systems, we can uh, analyze the failure mode of the, of the steering and study how the human can uh, react and, and interfere with the system in case of specific failure in order to make sure that the system is always safe. Having all the components of the steering system into the driving simulator loop, you can perfectly tune the steering feeling in a closed environment. The advantage of using a system with a simulation with hardware and human in the loop allows us to reproduce situation in a very safe and quick mode. Uh, with a save of money and time uh, because we can reproduce many different conditions in a short time and all the conditions are under control to make sure that all the tests can be repeatable and can be better analyzed by the, the technicians in order to, to check and solve the different problems. You can test also all the ADAS into this uh, environment. For example, a lane keeping uh, scenario is easily coupled with the, this uh, uh, driving simulator loop.